Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Classical conditioning pairs a non-traditional stimulus with a bodily reaction. In the movie theater, as we associate with the protagonist, we experience the same emotions and hormonal release as if we actually were living the same events, but at a reduced level. In movies, during specific times of desperation, and at which time salvation comes not from the protagonist, but from a source external to the hero or heroine, the number 32 or 322 is visually displayed or else audibly heard immediately prior to or during that scene. Here is a list of some I have collected over the years. If you find others, please post a comment below. Thank you. 1. The Truman Show, Jim Carrey. Truman lives in a fabricated world. Everything he thinks is real has been carefully controlled. One day, Truman begins to think that something is wrong. He attempts to cross the only bridge off the island, really a massive stage. To do this, Truman must take a bus. As he approaches the bus, the bus number appears 329. However, when Truman boards the bus, the driver strips out all the gears one by one. As he does this, the screen shows Truman's view looking up the bus aisle. The bus number is again visible. Though it should be in reverse from this angle behind the glass, it is not. And, the 9 is cut off at screen right. All that appears in the upper right of the screen is 32. 2. National Treasure Declaration of Independence is stolen. But, as security Sikh hero, he is stopped by a clerk who thinks the declaration he has is a copy sold in the souvenir shop. He must pay the clerk. He searches his pockets and pulls out $32.57. 3. National Treasure In the Centennial Bell Tower, the assistant, who produced the idea to save the hero, yells, It's 322, my idea. The time is 322 when the sun casts a specific shadow. 4. Executive Decision with Steven Seagal A stealth fighter attaches to the hijacked plane. Then, men board. At the critical time of boarding, one man begins to yell, 320-320. 5. Hudson Hawk. As two old friends rob a museum, they chose a song by which to time their job and exit. The song is 532 long. 6. 1976, Midway. When the Americans finally locate the Japanese Navy, the enemy fleet is at bearing 320. 7. Click with Adam Sandler. Just before he learns the truth about the remote, the time on the clock is 2.32. 8. Killer Pad. In beginning of show, a car drives up with license plate which includes 322. In the house is a portal to hell. 9. Ocean's 13. At the end of the movie, the check handed to the casino owner is for tens of millions of dollars and 32 cents. The man holds power of life or death for them, and 32 is put on screen. 10. Shawshank Redemption. Red, who helps Andy, wears shirt number 30265. The subconscious ignores zeros. When Tommy enters the prison and brings information about a confession from the man who really murdered Andy's wife and Andy would be freed, Tommy's number begins with 32. 
again, at the end, when the postcard arrives from Andy's crossing point in Texas to Freedom in Mexico, the zip code is 302XX. 11. Love and Basketball. The main player is number 32. 12. Enemy of the State, with Will Smith. When the girl finally tells Will Smith about Brill, a drop is made, behind seat number 32. See when Smith is in trouble. The girl, outside source, not the hero, has the answer, has the solution. 13. Remember the Titans. After the white police officer treats the black football player with respect in a town known for racism, the black player crosses the street to Geary's house. 322 is on the post. And many more. I'll continue discussing it in the next video. For now, let me give you a little sneak peek into who's behind 322. Perhaps this image will shed some light. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Back when I had just joined the World Wide Web in 2009, I remember reading about a mystery that my dad had told me about called the Piri Rice Map, and was fascinated by this mystery that even today no one has solved. These kinds of mysteries, at that time, fueled my imagination of ancient advanced civilizations, such as Atlantis and Lemuria. Piri Rice was a Turkish admiral and explorer that was beheaded for treason in 1554 by the Turkish Empire. In 1513, Piri Rice created a map, one of many, that still exists today, showing the west coast of Africa, North and South America, and Antarctica. This map was recently rediscovered in 1929 by the Turkish government, while turning a palace into a museum. In a nutshell, the Turkish Admiral Piri Rice, who was born in 1465 and died in 1553, owned a map that clearly showed the entire northern coastline of Antarctica, free of ice. In the 1990s, the United States Geological Society, or USGS, and the US Air Force, used modern technology to X-ray the ice covering the northern coastline of Antarctica. Charles H. Hapgood, while writing his famous book Maps of Ancient Sea Kings, was able to compare the two maps, and they were a perfect match. So, of course the question is, how did a Turkish admiral, in the Middle Ages, come to own a map of Antarctica, complete with rivers, harbors, mountain ranges and bays, when according to the official history, the last time the continent of Antarctica was free of ice was at least 14,000 years ago? And how did these ancient map makers create the map without advanced technology, or aerial technology? What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.